So this is our produced calcium cyanamide and I did say I wasn't going to test its purity but I've changed my mind and we're going to test the purity of this using the uh, measuring the amount of gas displaced from it because a carbonate will release carbon dioxide when um, acid touches it that was a really slow way of saying that but the cyanamide won't um, produce any gases in the reaction so if we can measure the amount of gas put out we can get a a very um, good figure on the amount of carbonate that's in the sample so I'm going to weigh out half a gram oh and the yield here was 71 grams from the 150 grams we put originally in the fire um, I haven't picked out the iron oxide flakes yet I'll get to that eventually also we have two grades because I put the rest of the remaining um, cyanurate in the fire as well when they're paint in so and they're going, I, I think there might be different um, levels of purity different levels of oxidation might have occurred so we'll get a gauge on which one's more pure if they're about the same I can just mix them um, but I, I don't know okay so we've got the half a gram in here the acid's going to come down and we're going to bubble the um, gas into here um, this solution is going to displace this solution is going to displace some air so we're going to get um, this is 27 mils in here so we're going to displace 27 mils here and any extra is due to carbon dioxide formation okay Okay, it's about uh, bubbling now. We see that we're at. Whoa, what is that at? Yeah, that's just ticked over 80. I'll let it bubble a bit more, but it's just ticked over 80, so that's quite a bit of gas. Okay, this is the painting sample with 25 mils of water and 2 mils of acid. That's cool. Yep, nope, that's, that's just it for the bubbling. Okay, we can see we're at 35 mils of gas. That is the paint in sample. So notice there was hardly any bubbling really. Okay, so according to Wolfram Alpha, thanks for doing my work for me once again, um, if the half gram sample was calcium carbonate, when we'd form 119 mils of gas. Um, on complete reaction with acid. Now the painting sample displays 35 mils, which means 8 mils of gas, so it's 6.7% calcium carbonate, which is really low. If we go down to our small box, we displace 88 mils in the end, so it means 61 mils of CO2, which means we're about 50% calcium carbonate, which is quite a lot. So it's quite a difference between the two samples. And 50% calcium carbonate is, is quite a lot, but it's still usable. I just have to use twice as much. So this paint in sample does contain less carbonate than the small container sample. However, I can't get the paint in sample to pass the cyanate test, as in forming that yellow precipitate from the silver. So while it may contain less carbonate, I don't think it contains any... Um, cyanamide so uh, it's really just um, some oxidized um, unreacted starting product really I mean it probably just contains the whole the cyanate still whereas this when they're next to each other you can sort of see the differences in color I'm not sure if it comes across on the camera very well but this one is definitely darker brown um, so it does contain a higher amount of carbonate but actually contains some cyanamide so I'm going to assume that the um, everything that isn't carbonate in here is calcium cyanamide and I'll use the correct portions from that